Hey everybody, Fake Vlog. Today we're doing LA New Noir, this new game. Comment down below um what other games you want to see. This is LA New Noir. A city on the verge of greatness. Rockstar a new type of city based not on the man, but and on the team automobile, the car, the LA symbol new of freedom one. and vitality. Every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. The city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. Okay, guys, I'm not going to bring it on. I always just want to make The city of opportunists. The city of dreams. Or Hollywood shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. Comment down below, I mean, like, like... A city of pioneers. Like it. A city of dreamers. By the way, guys, I'm actually seeing the game. There's three um, parts that you can never get. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries. That will stretch as far as the eye can see. In the Marine Corps, you deal a with the chain of command. Reflection. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust? Hey guys, when I, this game, like, I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective, an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Alouette crime scene, 10.09 p.m. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got places here. to be. Happy hunting. Hey, gosh, calm down. What you trying to help out here? This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. So what is this? Look at this Not junk. everything here is going to be relevant. It's just a bottle? Oh, okay. What is this? Probably nothing. It's not my job to pick through okay. other people's trash. Oh, a newspaper. The mind what is the got, final Phelps? frontier. Anything? Dr. Fontaine. 
Could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon, or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes, given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands, Chill. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine, he's so far away. It's like he's wandering around. We went through a lot together. Yes, Doc. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics like in Los problem. Angeles, Courtney Sheldon. And your penance, or your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time. With what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure. For whom he can only smooth the path to death. I tell you, I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Jesus. Cole, come take a look at this. Okay, I will. What is this on the board? We're never gonna find it. It's a waste of time. And paper? Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Oh, I know where to go. Oh, I'm just hearing the ring of that. I just want to go. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. 
How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right, don't hurt yourself. bottles everywhere on the floor. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. So, here's the gun. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? So... Smith and Wesson, Smith serial and Wesson. S71893. Okay. Two rounds fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. That's really interesting. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. Okay. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. Could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Investigate gun store. Oh. Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be oh, fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Let's go. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson. Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Pat. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? So, a new clue, so... Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? We have Frederick Daniels, Alfred Walter, Patrick O'Hara, let's see, Howard Paris, Herbert Frank, Sterling Reed, Herbert Funk? I seen that guy twice, didn't I? I don't know. I don't know about this news. <sighs> Woo! So we're looking for who are we looking for? Cement and Oh, is it right here? 
We're in luck. Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks. You've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Thank you. I appreciate it. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. What's so goddamn hard about that? Oh my God, I'm sorry. Well, that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. Two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. Careful! What are you doing? Get out of my freaking car! What the? F he saw me. He saw me, and he still moved to my lane. Coming out of your wages, not mine.
map. How do I get over there? Mind you, I need to go up here. Oh! How do I get up there? That took forever, my god. It's 11.28 p.m. That was so late because it took forever. So, he is in number... Schroeder, apartment two. Apartment two. Here it is. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cup him, Ross. No way. Boy, you just you're got, not taking you just me down got, for this. You just got cold. Oh, you're gonna punch. Ow. Oh, you're gonna punch. You ready, tough guy? Huh? You're gonna punch an officer? <laughs> Get a punch in all the Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. So there's a book right here. So it has um, some numbers like Frank Gear, Clayton, Floyd Rose. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner, and leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 
you dumb fucking sons of bitches. Get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant Bush. Excuse me. Fuck you. You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. He didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Ask me where the bus was, my god. Bro, you need to watch your mouth, bro, my god. I understand why you're mad you're having a bad day, but like, are you coming off to arms the papers? Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. They could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identify code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from here. 14 Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Oh, we need to go. Are you trying to run people over? No, I wasn't. Make it quick, you guys. The cops are here. We gotta move it. Why is my skating alone? Oh. Okay, this is the first gunfight I've here. Oh, you're dead. Oh, bro. You're dead. Weapons on the ground now. I'm just gonna go. Find some cover. LAPD, put down your weapons. Oh, the bank is surrounded. I'm offering you a chance. Oh. Oh. Stay in cover. Look at that. 
Yeah, you're out of here. That's it? We got them all? I got shot back. I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. I like Ralph. He's my favorite of all. Because there's, there's going to be other ones that are going to be our partners. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, who wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. Oh, I'll head him oh, off in the right. car. Oh, you, you gonna run for me? Wendell oh, Bowers! Stop! LSPD! You can go screw yourself. You're not gonna run for me. Thank you. You're not running for me. He's hiding in the alley! You're, you're not running away from me. Hold it right there! Stop now or I will shoot! Go, 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 I won't go, go, go. tell you again, Wendell! Jesus, Dunn! Watch your fire! Go, 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 Don't want to do this, Wendell! Get down from there right come on, now! Why, why does it, come on! Oh, Give it up, Wendell! There. Dude, you boss spot is like Genova. Stay, Stay the here. hell away from me! Oh, he kicked me. No, 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 no. Go, go, You've got to be go, go, kidding. Go. You fucking asked for it. Go, Phelps. There's no way I'm going back inside. I've done my time. It's over, Bowers. You assholes already screwed me once. Go. Give it up, Bowers! There's nowhere left to go! Oh my god! Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Get out of here, boy! You don't punch an officer! You're not gonna punch an officer! Boom! You get out of here, boy! If you punch that, you do like you punch an officer, you're in jail for that. Parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, Eight. Donahoe, six. Kowalski, six. Hudson, five. Kelso, 
Two, leadership. Donahoe, eight. Franklin, seven. Merrill, six. Kowalski, six. Weiss, five. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! If you guys see you hear doors closing and stuff, sorry, my parents, I should do this on a buyer beware. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star of the okay, squad. The, video, the, the case that you saw, the chairs wear. that you have, the gumption, the gung ho, the get a. Hey, everybody, faithful bother. And today we're playing it. Let's go. The drive is So I can't do this right now, so I gotta literally do this. So let's go. So we'll resume upon reflection. A city on the verb. So guys, I'm only able to do the second case, but for now, it's just buyer beware. For every cop. There's the case that makes you, gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star on the squad. The case that you saw, that shows that you have the gumption, the gung ho, the get up and go to make you stand out from your average rank and file patrolman. This could be the one goal. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick? My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. Your first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. So, let's see. Broad daylight. Crowded street. I've seen everything. Bank of Arcadia. C. Galetta. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Pearl earrings? I've seen this game as so kind of a A gun? FN Browning, serial number 01138. Might need to run by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. Shell cases. These look like 32s. Anything to go on. I'm Officer Phelps, Miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss, Mr. Gage. 
Mr. Gage was her first name. Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, Miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I'm gonna use an intuition because I walked in front. I played this game before. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. I'm having a hard oh time believing God. that, young lady. Do you want to be taken to a police cell? You're hardly any older than me. Don't you dare talk to me that way. A man is dead, Miss Galetta, and it's a criminal offense to lie to a police officer. I will take you downtown. Get out! Get out right now! Send in one of the other policemen if you must, but I won't say another word to you. Gosh, I, I always, I'm always getting that wrong. We have the murder weapon? No murder. The girl saw it all, but she clammed up on it. We can trace the gun. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate! Maintain the perimeter. What did I tell you about going too hard on the witness? She's a store assistant, not a prisoner of war. Is that supposed to be funny? I'm just saying that sometimes you need to pour some sugar on these broads. A little bedside manner can go a long way. And since when are you the expert? We got the murder weapon, didn't we? You shouldn't dole it out if you can't take it, Phelps. She was a looker, though. Tell me I'm wrong. No wonder you're suddenly so obsessed with bedside manner. Slow down! Oh my gosh, my window's are out. Gun and sport. Good story. 2.36 p.m. Officer, what can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple of weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. I think it looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Oh, he brought it in. He bought a box of cartridges and he left. Do you know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield Jewelry Store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. 
You get back here. You're not Son running from me. Bitch. Go, Cole, go. No, you're not running from me. Get back here. You're not faster than me. You have a head start, and that's why you're ahead of me. But I'm catching up with you. Kalu, get back here. Get back here, boy. That cherry pie was deep. Oh my, it's a bus! Move! Too late, Kalu! Now! I got a call back to that universal portal line. Stop, or I will shoot! Edgar Kalu! You're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> the case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never saw. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nodded our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, man. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. So we have to... This is your chance. Don't fail me. So we have to convince this guy that he did it. Or try to see, to see what he said. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. So shooting is... Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. So, I want to accuse you. You deny owning a Browning pistol, serial number 01138. I owned a gun, yes, but, but, but it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. Oh, yes, um, let me see. So, it can't be the shooting because it's just like anybody can shoot somebody. Can't, that has nothing to do with it. This could be good, but it isn't like, like, it's only gonna have the same exact gun. To be honest, it's only gonna have the same exact gun. That, that won't do anything, but this shows that he actually owned it because he said he owned it. You had the gun cleaned and bought a new box of ammunition. The store owner remembers you and where you were. Is that so? It's amazing what the nebishes will recall when it suits them. So now we want to know your... Let's see here. He thinks um, he don't like me at all. But let's see what your possible religious motive was. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker! How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. You liar, bro. Left-wing-leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? 
You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher. You and that stump Gage. Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake, the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, boy. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them.